Okay, after we have our virtual tour up on, in, in this case, we used GitHub Pages, right? So some type of hosting site, you probably want to put it into a template to showcase, for example, real estate property. And in this mock-up here, we have a template where there's a picture taken with a DSLR. Uh, I didn't take this picture, it looks great. I got it from Pixabay, which is a stock photo site. This is just for the mock-up. So you have a, a promotional picture at the top. Uh, this is just a standard picture and the, there's a way to get more information. And there's the tour down here where they may want to see um, additional information about the property. So the concept here is the main property, there's probably a tour for it. Um, and then there's probably other tours for maybe the neighborhood, other features of the property. Site's very basic. This is the entire code for the site. You can see that it's just a bootstrap template. I'm using a Jumbotron. Uh, the virtual tour itself is simply in an iframe in this section here. Um, and the first link, it simply goes to the uh, virtual tour. So this is the section that we're going to focus on and let's get started coding it from scratch so you can see how easy it is to get a virtual tour into your website template. The concept being that you'd have a template and use the same template for a hundred different properties and you just change the, the top image, uh, which is actually in the CSS for the top image, house.jpg. So only three files in my project. House.jpg, again, I didn't take the picture. It's from uh, Pixabay. If you type in the word house on Pixabay, you can get several stock images for you to prototype your design and your project. I'm using architecture house. The, the photographer is Giovanni CG. Let's check out Giovanni. Uh, anyway, just a shout out to this guy since I am using his picture, which is um, it's just for this demo and the site does allow it to uh, allow you to use it. I'm going to start off with a completely empty folder, a completely uh, no files, uh, no images. So you can see from scratch, uh, from zero, how to do it. Let's create a new file, index.html. I'll also create another file that would be blank main.css for the styling, uh, very limited styling. I'm going to use Bootstrap. Um, so I'll set up an HTML template with Emmet. It's built into my editor here. I'll just change the title so that it's, um, let's see, virtual tour demo. Then let's use uh, Bootstrap. Go to the get started for Bootstrap. There's the Bootstrap CSS, which I just copied. I'm going to drop it into the head. In the body, you need to add the JavaScript. There's three. I'll just press the copy button here on getbootstrap.com. And I'll put a uh, sample header so this we can see what it looks like. Uh, you might be able to open up directly. Uh, I normally just run a, a, a local server. So I'm going to open up terminal in VS Code. And then I'll, I'm running Python 2 with this version by default. So I'll run a simple HTTP server using Python. And it's going to start the server on local port uh, 8000. So let's check it out. Localhost 8000. I just have the test message here, which is the H1 here, right? So it's pretty 
bare bones right now, although it does have the font from Bootstrap. Let's take it to the next step. All right, to keep things very simple, I'm just using the standard Bootstrap examples. Of course, if this is a production site, you'd have a professionally made template that you start off with. Uh, this is just real bare bones here. So we're going to start off with a jumbo John. And I'm just going to take the, uh, actually the, the top portion of this. So I'll look at the, the page source here. And then you could then copy the portion of the Jumbotron that you want. So this is the same, um, same file. It's currently blank right now. I haven't copied anything into it. Um, you know, I'm just going to type it in because I only want a certain certain pieces of it. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to set up a padding three to get started. Just to give it a little bit more padding. And then the, the way you said the Jumbotron is you just use the word Jumbotron. Make it a big text. Uh, this is a bootstrap class if you're not familiar. See what it looks like. It's not it. So this is the portion here that we're going to use. We'll just add a lead. Beautiful for their own house near Great Parks. Okay, it's coming it's coming together. I'll add a button for the uh, for the mock-up we put a line uh, let's just set it to link to the current page just for this mock-up so we can see what it looks like Okay, it's looking good. Let's put the background image in. I'm going to link it to this CSS and use the CSS to actually insert the image. Okay, so this is the linkage. We can now edit the CSS. So I'll make a new class background for the background image. Need to copy the house file in. And let's modify the jumbotron to give it a bit more height so you have that nice blowout um, image at the top for that DSLR image that shows the house, captures their attention. Helps them to make the buy. Okay, need a I need a picture, so I'm gonna copy it in. So I just copied the house image in here. Okay, before I can uh, actually 
see it, I need to apply the class to this div file. And maybe it'll work now. Okay, it's working. So we're going to place the iframe right down here. Maybe I'll put a little um, header so that Put the iframe in the center. Um, I'm going to put the, the URL of the previous tour that I made in the previous video. This is the free tour we made with Mars Apano. We're going to embed it into this, um, this new website template. See whether it works. Okay. I have my uh, top portion here. I have my uh, virtual tour at the bottom. You can probably make it smaller. Let's reduce the size of it. Maybe 800. Might be a little bit better. Change the alignment later. So you have your blowout image at the top here. There's probably links to the virtual tour of the inside of the house down here. Um, due to the current uh, health um, situation, I haven't gone out into another house to create the interior of a house. So you have to just imagine it for now. But that's what you do. You'd go down to the house and take a bunch of 360 shots inside the house. You have the tours down here. So right now we just have the parks. Uh, if you want to link to another one, you can just link to it another tour. I'll just put it right above. This is just another tour I created earlier. This one's not in a template page, but it's just to show you the concept of having multiple tours in your template. You'd probably have a tour for the inside of the house which is the key thing. You may or may not have a tour for the outside of the house. So maybe in your mind, be thinking that this is the, uh, the tour of the inside of the house with that links to the various rooms. So very quickly, you could make a site to help to sell your property, or if you're working at a park or a museum, just to get your content out there to the people um, some of whom may not be able to go to your physical site right now, at least not in a uh, large crowd. Have fun and hope to see your virtual tours online. Let us, let us know what you create.